Good evening, Evans Mutea here. And today's story, Edgar Obare. Controversy seems to be his fourth name. Every other time there's something going around about Edgar Obare. And today it's not some very good news because as you can see from the photo on your screen, he's a guest of the state tonight and he might be spending the night in uh, at Modega Police Station. And the reason why, uh, the reason this is happening is, as you can see here, DCI Kenya, which is the official Twitter account for DCI, has confirmed that in a case of outright blackmail by fraudsters who intend to benefit uh, financially from prominent personalities by tainting their images online and demanding money not to post scandalous information about them, detectives have once again arrested serial fraudster Edgar Obare. Not sure how true that is, but yeah, he's being termed a serial, see the, a serial fraudster. In another tweet here, this year I can just say they uh, uh, dejected mm -hmm. that their plan wasn't uh, working. Edgar took to his social media pages accusing the governor of impregnating a lady and failing to take responsibility. Here we're talking about Governor Alfred Mutua. The supposedly pregnant lady wasn't aware that all along Edgar was taking screenshots of their conversations and her photos, which he posted alongside, alongside his claims. Fearing the repercussions of Edgar's actions, she reported the matter to DCI offices in Nyali. And detectives have since established that the lady isn't pregnant as she had claimed. Further, more accomplices are being hunted down in DCA's relentless endeavors to neutralize syndicates involved in child trafficking and sexual abuse and exploitation. They go ahead and say Fichua Kwa DCI by simply dialing 0800722203 to speak anonymously to the DCI OC or GOPE. And Kenyans, Kenyans are talking about this. Edgar Obari is on the top of the trends this evening. Uh, yes, as you can see here, go to the yeah to the trends. You can see Edgar Obari is trending with over three thousand tweets in just a few hours, and Kenyans are talking, especially the tea lovers, people who love getting the tea from Edgar Obari. You can see Maria saying so many serious cases like the Obado case and countless others. But hey, not not no. Let's focus on Edgar Obari because he is hurt. He has hurt the governor's feelings. Kwendeni huko Maria is very uh, mad at, at the DCI. Cyprian Yakundi is saying, "I urge Edgar Obari to sue DCI Kenya for calling him a serial fraudster." I buy it. They have no evidence. This is free money, Mr. Obari. Someone should for once face these guys. Okay, okay, let me see if we have a few other tweets here before we call it. Uh, Calvo says we demand that Edgar Obari be released as fast as possible or else this country be disbanded and everyone to go home. That's a, a hilarious one. And uh, attached to it is a very hilarious photo there of a Kenyan trying to make a lot of noise. Ben Kitili says they told Edgar Obare to be aware of the Computer Misuse and Cyber Crimes Act 2018. KOT wakanipiga mawe hapa. That was in 2020. Ben Kitili tried. And uh, there is a tweet he did a few months ago. Murua Wawamuyu says, as I can remember on Edgar Obare's stories, he was supposed to be a witness. Now he has turned into a serial fraudster. The way government officials are using the police to harass and intimidate people is wanting. You may be silent now, but would you cash? Let me see if I can find another one. Yes, Ibrahim Davis says Edgar Obari is Kenya's an official newsroom. We call him here Tea Master for sourcing and sharing stories that the powerful think they can hide from the public. He does that with receipts. True. Labeling him serial fraudster will not, with nothing to show for it will backfire on you. 
Kevin Kogo says, so Edgar Barres Chai is just a fraud game. This year should join Longhorn Publishers and continue to entertain us with fiction stories. They are our favorite. If you believe that 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 thread, you deserve a brain transplant. And there's a photo of uh, Edgar Obare again. Enjoy. This is the final tweet I'm reading. It's funny how someone like Edgar Obare gets arrested so many times for being a fraudster. Yeah, the ones stealing $2 billion every day from the government are so difficult to track. You all play too much. At this rate, I find it hard to take this investigative unit seriously. Finally, from Sheila Boss. Sheila says it is it is the audacity of the DCI for me for publishing such a malicious and false information against Edgar Obari. How that story has been twisted to this sounds like a movie. DCI should be arrested and judged for defamation and publishing false information. Yani the audacity. She's simply trying to say DCI is doing the exact thing they're telling Edgar not to do yeah and uh, we'll just wait for tomorrow and hear what will happen um assuming you'll be around in court tomorrow and you'll be out here to continue serving us tea especially those who love him uh so much so let's wait and let's keep commenting what do you think is it right do you think um, we are losing media uh freedom through such arrests or are we controlling what people should share online? So let me know in the comment section. It's me, Mutia Evans. Make sure I don't get into the wrong hands as well. Okay. All right. Good. Good night. See you in the next one.